Okay, Minfilia, it's finally time. All the I's have been crossed, the T's have been dotted. It's finally time to start Operation Archon. All present, then let us begin. I was half expecting this to be voiced. I really was, huh? We have received the details of the impending operation. In what promises to be the largest single counteroffensive in the realm's troubled history, the Alliance will strike at every Imperial stronghold standing upon Aeosian soil. As might be expected, the operation will be complex, but you need not commit its intricacies to memory. It is enough that each man understands his part and plays to the best of his ability. The finer instructions you will receive at each staging point. To begin, let us review the distribution of our forces. From west to east, the Maelstrom of Limsa Liminsa, the Immortal Flames of Uldar, and the Order of the Twin Adder of Gridania. Next, let us examine the locations of the Imperial Strongholds. Near Limsa Liminsa, we have Castrum Arcadens, situated in eastern Vilbrand, and Castrum Marinum, which lies to the south and east, in the midst of the Rotano Sea. Near Ulda, we have Castrum Meriandum to the north, and the coastal outpost to Cape Westwind, which connects Castrum Meridium to the mainland by means of a Magitech transporter. Near Gridania, we have Castrum Oriens, which lies upon the eastern edge of the Twelveswood. And finally, in Bordona, stands Castrum Century, a thorn in the heart of Eorzea. The forthcoming operation will see Allied forces assault each of the aforementioned locations, with the ultimate objective of destroying the Empire's new weapon, housed within Castrum Meriandum. As one might expect at the Black Wolf's seat of power, Castra Beriandum boasts all but impenetrable defenses. If we are to breach it, we must needs to isolate it from its sister strongholds. To do otherwise would be to risk being caught betwixt Hammer and Anvil. The operation will comprise four distinct phases, all told. The first shall see us eliminate one of the Black Wolf's most trusted lieutenants, Ritayan Sesarvana. According to our intelligence, the Perfectus is due to visit the Imperial Outpost at Cape Westwind for an inspection. When he arrives, we shall dispatch an elite adventurer unit to eliminate him. Decamon, we would have you lead this assault. Retiring is a peerless field tactician. Shorn of his leadership, the garrison at Castrum Ocadets will be a snake without a head. Phase 2 will see us sever Castrum Meriandum's primary lines of supply. As soon as Retian's presence is confirmed at the coastal outpost, the Maelstrom will lay siege to Castrum Arcadens. At that very hour, the Limson Armada, helmed by the Admiral herself, shall move to blockade Castrum Marinum. Meanwhile, in the Twelfth Wood, the Order of the Twin Adder will surround Castramorians. And they'll have the Sylphs to help them! Frixio's been waiting for a chance to avenge these ones! Phase 3 shall see us neutralize Castramoriandum's defenses. Forming our main thrust, the Immortal Flames will march against the Stronghold with all their strength. While the enemy's eyes are thus drawn outwards, another elite adventure unit shall infiltrate the Castrum. Its mission? To disable the Magitech field generator which protects the Praetorium, a fortress within a fortress wherein the ultimate weapon is believed to be housed. Decamon, we would have you take command once more. Meanwhile, the Order of the Twin Adder will blockade the railway which connects Sentry and Meriandum, preventing the timely arrival of reinforcements from Mordona. A wise precaution! 
The monstrous looking motive which runs back and forth between the two Kestra is capricious enough to transport a small army by all accounts. It is well that the Gallians did not think to give it wings. Once Meriandum's defenses have been compromised, the operation will enter its fourth and final phase. This will see the Immortal Flames enter the stronghold and suppress the remnants of the enemy garrison. Allowing Dekumon's unit to pass unopposed into the Praetorium, where they will locate and destroy the Ultima Weapon. Boom! By this feat shall the operation be deemed a success. In addition to the Grand Companies, we can count upon the support of a variety of other parties, from the Pirates of Limsa Lamenta to the Monetaris of Uldar. In all, the operation will involve no fewer than 12 major factions. Legend holds that the Archons were 12 in 1 and 1 in 12. It is for this reason that our grand endeavor has been dubbed Operation Archon. Countless free companies have also pledged their swords, and more join us by the day. At long last, all of Eorzea is rising as one. It, you know, except the Quirthans. Screw them. As before, we sigh and so work in concert with the Grand Companies. Ida, Papiyama, Ustola. Pray accompany your respective organizations on their missions. <laughs> Rianje, I would have you represent us in Uldar. Reassure the financiers that they have made a sound investment. When that is done, pray return here and aid in the coordination of our forces. Tataru, please assist Uranje in any way you are able, and ensure that everyone is kept abreast of the latest developments. <laughs> Aww, that's good. Minfilia, Sid and I shall accompany the main host in an advisory capacity. It will be our task to analyze intelligence as it comes into our possession, and make the necessary recommendations to command. As Alphino mentioned, you are to lead the elite unit of adventurers whose task it will be to see each of Operation Archon's main objectives fulfilled. Yours is the most important role of all, and like to be the most dangerous. Pray choose your party well, and sit not in your preparation. Or, you know, just jump in the party finder. That works too. The battle for the future of the realm is about to begin. Together, let us show the Black Wolf the power of a united Eorzea. Oh, yeah, there's uh, I was still expecting this to be voiced, to be honest. Pray report to the Immortal Flames encampment, situated to the north of here when you are ready to be briefed on your first mission. That's right. Our first mission is to take on Retian. I cannot stress this enough. But please be careful. May you walk in the light of the crystal. This headpiece still bothers me. And with that, we have finally begun Operation Archon. All right, we need to first head out of here and to the north. You are welcome, Decamon. Let's play of the Scions. As communications officer, it falls to me to issue you your orders and provide guidance on forthcoming missions. Your first mission is to infiltrate the Imperial Outpost at Cape Westwind and eliminate Prefectus Retian Sasavana. All participating units are now in position and awaiting your arrival. Please proceed to the staging point and report to, Lide to Lieutenant Adelbart. This is but the first step in our bid to purge the realm of the Garlean Menace. I shall pray for your success. Report to Adelbert in front of the Imperial Outpost. Now getting there is going to be kind of a treat because this is not a fun area to traverse. Or at least not at lower levels. At higher levels is really not that bad. Although it is kind of cool looking once we actually get in there. Yeah, this place, this this place is really weird looking. I always find found this place weird. This is kind of like something out of Dark Souls almost. Just this edge of Garlean territory here. So you're Dekumon Let's Play, the fearless adventurer who's to lead the assault. We've been expecting you. Our Maelstrom friends report that Retire and Sasavana departed Castro Market in Zabelago. And sure enough, a convoy of Imperial airships landed here just now. The likelihood is high that our target was aboard one of the vessels. I've dispatched scouts to verify his presence before we strike. Hmm. 
Now, if only they'd actually report in. Command to all units. Requesting status report. This is at Lion 1. Target has not been sighted. This is at Lion 2. Likewise, target has not been sighted. At Lion 3 here. Got nothing for you neither. This is at Lion 4. Nothing to report as of. Wait. Wait, disregard previous message. Target sighted. I say again. Target sighted. Understood. Hold your position. Yes, he's here. Good. Attention, all units. This is Lieutenant Albert Carter. The first step of Operation Archon begins with us. Should we falter here, all hope of victory will be lost. Tis no small burden, but know that I believe in all of you. So believe in yourselves, and together we will blaze a path for our brothers and sisters of the Alliance to follow. <laughs> we will create multiple diversions and disperse the enemy garrison. That should give your people a chance to breach their defenses. Go now, Dickemon. And bring us Retian's head. May Ralga grant you strength. Oh joy! This is this sounds this is freaking assassination mission. Commence diversionary maneuvers. And with that, we need to work our way all the way up to the edge of the map, which basically involves me running past as many things as possible because I don't want to fight all this stuff. Thankfully, most of them seem... Yeah, that, oh, there are a couple who are actually interested, but not many. And I can outrun all you guys pretty damn easily. There's our destination. Just sneak past everybody, you know. It's just the way it's going to be. There we go. The duty finder has been updated with a new regular duty. Which means it's time for me to change classes. And hop into the duty finder. Here we are. Cape Westwind. It has come to light that Retai and Cesarvana... Prefectus Castorum of the 14th Legion is scheduled to inspect the Imperial Outpost to Cape Westwind. Although native to a territory subjugated by the Empire, Retian's prowess as a field technician has won him a station of great authority within the Garlean military. Such a formidable enemy general will surely prove an obstacle to the Alliance's efforts to purge the realm of the Imperial menace. For the first phase of Operation Archon, you have been entrusted the mission of infiltrating the Imperial Outpost and striking him down. Now. This is in the trial section, which means it's just basically a boss fight. However, as I, if I scroll down here, this is an eight person mission. This is an eight person mission. This is actually our very first eight person instance. And as you can see, it's two tanks, two healers, and four DPS, which I'm gonna be honest, is incredibly overkill for this fight, but yeah, you know, what have you. That's right. We get a full party this time. That's what a full party means, is eight bodies. <laughs> so there you are. It would appear we have unexpected guests. Now, where have I seen you before? Ah, but of course, the man who felled the mighty titan. Huh? Th this is the Icon Slayer? What are we supposed to do? I see. The commotion without is not but a diversion. Allow me to hazard a guess. By eliminating me, you hope to undermine the garrison at Ockadens. A bold strategy to be sure, but have you the strength to see it to fruition? Gotta be honest, dude, I have very easily the strength. Leave us. None of you are a match for him. Send word to Castrum Ockadens. Tell them the Lamincins are coming. Yeah, probably too late for that. At once, my lord. Just don't mind us. We're just going to go past you. Fifteen years have come and gone since Lord Van Belser first set foot in Eorzea. Yet his ambition for the realm burns as strong as it ever did. Know you what fuels it, adventurer. The desire to deliver the people from their suffering. The lands he has conquered were all beset with problems. Poverty, starvation... Lawlessness and strife. 
My homeland was no exception. Had my lord not reached out and claimed it for the Empire, it would eventually have destroyed itself. But under his sage leadership, my people enjoyed such peace and stability as we had never known. And he only desires the self-same for the people of this realm. Under his rule, Eorzea would be free from the shackles which bind it, the shackles of false faith. There would be no feeble leaders to misguide the masses, no icons to bleed the realm dry. True peace would reign, and the people would be free to live their lives without fear of persecution or oppression. Should you doubt the truth of my words, I bid you look upon me. I am no son of Galamald, yet Lord Van Belsa saw fit to raise me to a station of great honor. He measures a man not by his birth, but by his worth. Such is his sense of justice. By the grace of his excellency, I am where I was born to be, upon the field of battle. He has given me a noble cause to fight for, and worthy adversaries to smite. <laughs> oh, finally, you want to come at me, dude? You and those big honking shields? I am not wont to bear my steel needlessly. But if you are deaf to reason... In the name of Lord Van Belsa, I, Retire in Sessavana, to swear to strike you down. Alright, it's time, and I am not going to explain any mechanics to this guy, because he doesn't have any. He really doesn't. He, we are just going to disintegrate him. I'm going to be honest, this fight is a joke. This fight probably should have been a four-man, and it definitely should not be synced to level 50. It should be synced to level 49, because you can tell, he's already a quarter of the way dead! I haven't had to do a single bit of healing yet. Ah, I just might as well do a little bit of healing now, just because. But yeah, this fight is a joke. This fight is an absolute joke. This guy's- what few mechanics this guy has, we just ignore. He literally is not posing any threat whatsoever. You are a laugh, good sir. The most I have to do is sit here and throw out some heals. That's literally it. You know what? Here. Have some sacred soil, everybody, just because I can. That's literally a case of just because I can. I will throw out a sacred soil and give everybody a damage boost. Well, damage boost, a damage resistance boost. And now he's trying to throw out missiles. But missiles do nothing against this team of crazy people. Look at this. We do not care. <laughs> that is such an easy fight. It's a joke. <sighs> oh. Oh. Oh, damn. I really shouldn't have hit this thing. Forgive me. I have failed you. Lord Van Belsar! <laughs> oh, that's... That's a bad sign there. That's the sign of a malfunctioning portal. And there we go. That light. The Magitech Transporter. Dickamon, are you there? What news of Retian? Fallen? With this deed, you have sown the seeds of our ultimate victory. <laughs> there we go, the transporter's broken. The fading of that light presages an end to the Empire's tyranny. Retire in Sesavada is no more. Let the next phase of Operation Archon commence. Hurrah! Tis I. Seems you've done it again, Dekumon. I'd raise a tanker to you, but I'm afraid we've no time to savor the victory. There's still the small matter of infiltrating Castro Meriandum and destroying the Ultima weapon. I know, I know. No rest for the preternaturally gifted. Now stop feeling sorry for yourself and make your way back to the Immortal Flames encampment. The communications officer will issue you your orders. And I completely skipped a line of dialogue there. That was my bad. Uh oh. Hey, Thancred. Look, Kaidelin. Your minion comes, bringing the light. 
Alas, the gate to the void already stands open. Soon darkness shall consume all, and you shall bow down before the one true God. <laughs> ah, I'm evil. Ah, meanwhile, in the castrum. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to read my report. The Perfectus, slain. Regret to be so, my lord, and at the hand of the Icon Slayer, if the Centurion who survived the attack is to be believed, I heard he ran away like a little bitch. Retain. Where were his men when he faced the enemy? Fleeing, even as the commander yielded up his last breath. It sh if it should prove they questioned his right. I, I cannot speak for them, my lord. Hmm. Big pardons, my lord, but there is more. The Maelstrom has laid siege to Castra Markadens. Likewise, the Crimson Fleet moves to blockade Castra Marinum. Oh. Be gone. So this is their answer. Very well. We shall crush them as we crushed the icons. Go forth and show them the futility of their resistance. Yes, my lord. <laughs> that guy's definitely got an imposing figure. All right, time to get out of this green tinge zone and work my way back to the comms officer. Who, random guy who he is, I've completely forgotten what voice he had. Sion, let's play. Your deeds this day are an inspiration to us all. With the death of the Prefectus, Operation Archon has entered its second phase. Even as we speak, the Maelstrom moves to blockade Castrum Arcadens and Castrum Marinum. And far to the east in the Black Shroud, the Order of the Twin Adder advances upon Castrum Orions. Already you have done much to advance our cause, performing such feats as are worthy of song. But if our plan is to succeed, more is required of you. Let me know when your preparations are in order, and I shall relay to you the particulars of your next mission. Well, they are definitely known to me. I don't need any of these fancy pieces. I really don't. A hero in need. Phase two of the operation is presently in motion. Our brothers and sisters of the Maelstrom are holding their own against Galian forces upon Vilbrand and the Rotano Sea. Ere long, the third phase will begin and you must take to the field once more. The Immortal Flames shall strike at Castra Meriandum by way of a diversionary maneuver. While the Garleans are thus locked in battle, you are to infiltrate the stronghold and bring down the Magitek field that surrounds the Praetorium. The staging point for the mission lies in the shadow of Castra Meriandum and Northern Thanalan, and that is where you must go. On your way there, however, I would ask that you make a brief stop at Camp Blue Frog, one of our key outposts in the area. The garrison, I am told, is in low spirits, and it would do our troops well to see the hero of Cape Westwind appear before them. For the good of our cause, please stoke the fire in their hearts. I'm, I'm not asking you to do, like, an OSA show or anything. Just, you know, just go do something. I haven't been to this area yet. This is Northern Thanalan, and it is pretty much a barren wasteland full of things that want you dead at all levels so definitely not a place I wanted to be before now oh I should probably jump back onto the summoner <clears throat> ah private let's play yours is a most welcome presence here at Camp Blue Fog logistically speaking we are ready to march on Castro Mariandum at a moment's notice alas while our troops are here in body their minds are anywhere but uh, oh dear. The garrison's mood is dark, so daunting is the prospect of joining what may prove to be the bloodiest battle in history. But, with the heroes such as you walking among them, we may yet rekindle the dwindling embers within their souls. So, seriously, just go walk around. 
please. Literally, I'm here for moral support. That's sad. It's literally, yeah, the ladle in the darkness. Yeah, this, this is unfortunately going to be a bunch of little freaking annoying quests that they probably will be cutting out. I have a favor to ask of you, as a fellow comrade of the Alliance. As I mentioned, the garrison's mood is dark. Excuse me, I'm going to get a little closer here. The fault, it pains me to admit, is partly mine. I am no veteran of large-scale campaigns, you see, and the men and women under me are nervous for this knowledge. Seeking to lift their spirits, I remember the tale of a Gridanian general from a century past. Van Chelen was his name, and he was a lancer of great renown. History holds that, in spite of his rank, he would regularly cook meals for his troops while afield. Most generals know how to break bread with their own men on occasion to foster camaraderie, but Van Chelen took it one step further. By actually making that bread, he showed that he was truly one of them, a hero and a comrade. Though I wouldn't presume to compare myself to a man of his stature, I thought it might be well to at least emulate the deed. To be sure, this is a testament to my de desperation. I had begun making preparations for Basilisk stew, all the while wondering whether it would be any good, when an honest to God's hero appeared. I speak of you, of course. My gratitude would know no bounds if you could take up the ladle in my stead. The stew is just about ready. All it needs is some basilisk meat, which can be readily had north of here. Please procure the meat and add it to the cauldron bubbling just outside the camp. When the stew is ready, I would ask that you also distribute it among our troops. Receiving the stew from you is certain to give them heart. I doubt I can say the same were it to come from my hands. Uh, this is honestly a really stupid quest. This is one of the quests that I really hope they just outright get rid of. There's no reason for this quest. It's literally just go kill some basilisks. I'm gonna be honest, this sort of random fetch quest just really irks me sometimes. Watch the bubbling cauldron, seriously. <laughs> okay, scoop stew from the bubbling cauldron. Yeah, this quest is definitely one that needs to be trimmed out of the main story badly, because this is just stupid. I, I think I'll pretend to be sick. That way I won't have to fight. Maybe they'll even send me home to my family. It's not as if one man would make a difference, right? Dude, just shut up and take your stew. You made this stew? For me? I, I never dreamed that I would share a meal with a hero, let alone partake of something he made. I wanted to be a hero too, you know, to my family. I took up arms because I wanted to protect them, and I will. I won't run. Not today, nor any other. Wow, you, you were easy to sway. I can't even tell where the second guy is. Gods, this is also hopeless. The Garleans are going to crush us with their steel monstrosities. We're all going to die. I, I'm so sorry. I don't know what came over me. Your words and this hearty stew have given me courage. Yes, a fire positively burns in my belly. Or is it just the basilisk venom? Oh, oh God, what did you put in this? Ugh, it's always so dark here and cold. Maybe I shouldn't have enlisted. It's not like killing garlands will bring my friend back. Here, shut up and eat your stew. Mmm, this smells good. Wait, aren't you the adventurer who triumphed to keep Westwind? To think that a hero fights beside us. In this stew, it whets my appetite for vengeance. Just you wait, you Garlean horsons. I'm coming for your heads. <laughs> what did I put in this stew? Okay, pointless fetch quest over. Thank you. Your basculus stew has done wonders for our troops' morale. I cannot thank you enough. The seeming hopelessness of the situation, not to mention this accursed gloom, has dampened their spirits, and for a time they had forgotten their purpose. But your presence and culinary skills helped them to remember, and I'm confident they will do their part to protect the realm and their loved ones. Yeah, all this garbage equipment I don't need still. Let me guess, you have another all upon the wash showers. Great, another pointless quest. Before you continue on your way, there is one more favor I would ask of you. North of Camp Blue Fog, approximately halfway to the Cerulean Processing Plant, there stand two Alliance Watchtowers. I would be grateful if you could bear a message to us sentries at each. When the next phase of the operation commences, link shell comms may be disrupted for a time. Should this happen, messages must be conveyed the old-fashioned way, on foot or with fire. The West Watchtower is under the care of one Private Wyman, while the East is held by Private Hopeful Dawn. On my behalf, please remind them to be fully prepared for this eventuality. Once you've visited both, continue north and then west to the Cerulean Processing Plant. Lieutenant Edelstein, commander of the garrison, will be expecting you. 
12 speed your way. All right, so we gotta walk up, hit the two watchtowers, and then go on to the Cerulean Processing Plant. Hey. See, this quest at least has some small, uh, uh very small, uh, what the hell's the best way I wanna say this? One small speck of meaning, we'll put it that way. Partially because this is just a way to advance us to the next area. Why, if it isn't private, let's play! Brings you to my humble watchtower. Link pearls may cease to function, you say? Rest assured, sir, we have an ample supply of torches and swift legs to spare. If there's a message that needs sending, it will be sent. Oh, there's our other person, hiding over here at the edge. Ah, it is an honor to meet you in the flesh. Private, is there aught I can do for you? Provisions for when the link shells are out of commission. I always make sure we got a good store of torches and well rested legs. These watch towers ready for anything, never you fear. All right, and with those, we can move on to the Cerulean Processing Plant. And there's Edelstein, the Flame Lieutenant. I think I've seen you at least once or twice before. Ah, Private Let's Play. Well met, and welcome to my garrison. Battle preparations are proceeding well, I'm pleased to say. The Flame General himself arrived a short while ago, and has been inspecting our troops. Well, that's good. Nice to know he's here. What do we have? Hearts on Fire. General Raubon would no doubt be pleased to hear from you. You will find him over by the Aetherite, which you haven't attuned to yet, I've noticed. Go do that. Yeah, 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 I'm working on it. One thing at a time. There, I'm poking the damn Aetherite. You happy now? Sheesh. Here we go. That is actually the last Aetherite in the main Eorzea zones. I got them all. Ever a sight for sore eyes, my friend. I'm told you worked wonders on the morale of our garrison at Blue Frog. I would have you do the same for the troops here. God dang it, Raubon! They put a brave face what I'm about, but the fire in their hearts quivers as a candle in the wind. Aye, I can see it in their bearing. About the camp, there are green recruits whose resolve falters. Find them, Dekumon, and rekindle their fighting spirit the way only a hero can. Once you have seen to the others, go down and do the same for Edelston. No matter what he may claim, the lieutenant would also be better for a bit of rousing. Trust me, I know. Find recruits and psych them up. Jeez, this one's just cowering here. All right, we're looking for psych, psych, psych. There you are. Come on! Yeah! I break my fast on guardians, and right now, I'm very hungry. Okay, that, that worked far better than it should have. What about you, Mr. Down in the Dumps? Just give your big Dragon Ball Z roar to somebody. The Guardians are not near as frightening as you. I stood a face a Vanguard while naked in my name day. <laughs> Some people in this game are silly. This guy's over here by Edelstein. What about you? You need a little, uh, Dragon Ball Z psych it up? <laughs> Your stirring gesticulation has reawakened me to my purpose! Hero or no, I will fight tooth and nail to protect the realm. You people are so easy to manipulate, I swear. How about you, Edelstein? Apparently you need some psyching up as well! <laughs> by Ralga, without my realizing it, the fire of my resolve has grown dim. But thanks to you, it burns red hot once more. If needs be, I shall lay down my life to secure victory for Eorzea. All right, what have we got for ring choices? I actually kind of need a better ring. Setting the stage. A short while ago, the Flame General struck for Castro Meriandum. Alas, no sooner did his contingent gain the resistance line than an Imperial patrol fell upon them. We were informed that they successfully won, though, but enemy patrols yet linger in the area. Our main host could easily crush their like, to be sure, but we dare not deploy them at this juncture lest we prematurely stir the hornet's nest. That the operation might proceed unhampered, I would have you thin out the Imperial presence at Raubon's push. It should suffice if you were to vanquish three each of the vanguards and foot soldiers. Once you've accomplished this, pray join the frame general at the operation staging point. May Rogger grant you strength. See, this is an acceptable use of go kill X things. Also enjoy the fact that this area is literally called Raubon's push. It's kind of funny. All right, time to clean house. That takes care of all of them. 
And there's Raubon. 